Hey everybody, welcome back to Creech Questions. I'm here with Melissa Ponzio, who you may remember from The Walking Dead, or you may be watching her on Team Wolf. Uh, thank you again for doing the interview. Absolutely, thanks for being here, you guys. <laughs> And uh, first question is, we are at day two at Walker Stalker Con Boston. How yes. has it been so far this weekend? It's been amazing. It's an amazing town, amazing people, amazing turnout. Um, it's like one big family for any of the Walker Stalker Cons. And so it's really great to see cast members that are near and far, some dead, some are alive. And so it's, it's, a, it's just like a camp for a two-day period. It's like everybody comes and then it's like, bye, we'll see you next year. So it's really great. Yeah. And which number uh, of appearances is this? Because I know you've been to a couple of them so far. That's right. I think um, this year, I think this is my second or third. Yeah. Wow. And I'm really looking forward to the rest of them in the year. You know, we're always really excited about Atlanta. Atlanta is the hub for Walker Stalker Con, and it's the largest con, I think, that, that you know, of the year. Andy always makes an appearance, and so it's a, it's a big deal. Definitely. And uh, with The Walking Dead, yes. um, you played Karen. Yes. And uh, for the, the short amount of time you were on there, um, you made a pretty big impact. I tried. And... Uh, how was it to, um, after leaving the show, to see that they continued on really carrying the character of, of Karen throughout with Tyrese suffering through it and uh, your loss and everything? Well, it was a real honor. Um, have you interviewed those crazy clowns yet? I have not. Okay. Anyway, sidebar. Um, it, was, it was an honor to have such an impactful death. When um, we started season four, I had a meeting with Scott Gimple. And he advised me that I would be meeting my demise in season in the second episode. And you know, at first you're kind of crestfallen about it, but then when the explanation comes of how Karen's death is really going to matter, and the reason why it's going to matter is because Karen's death is going to propel the character of Tyrese into new places for the rest of the season. And so he wanted me to know, and everybody involved wanted me personally to know that her death is going to matter. They weren't just killing off a character because they wanted to go in a di different direction. It was a motivated reason why behind she was leaving the show. And then for me to watch the show and to see how often that Karen was brought up in, in, in conversations and in meetings, and then finally when Tyrese and Karen come to you know the conclusion that he was going to forgive her for happening, and, and it was just a really beautiful experience all the way around. Okay, and um, when you were filming, uh, this is a personal question I want to ask. Uh, how many times did you have to get serenaded by Chad Pullman? <laughs> Only like three or four. It was a really, just a really nice day. And, uh, you know, when you're shooting a television series, sometimes you have to get different angles or move the camera a little bit. Um, but as far as, like, that particular scene and singing, it, it, we only did it a couple of times. It was a fun day. What was your personal highlight from working on the show? My personal highlight was just going and um, seeing people that I had worked with for 20 years and being on this one particular set, an amazing show, an amazingly written show, uh, a popular show, and then just for all of us to kind of come together. People call me Ponzio. And so, you know, you're kind of walking on set and everybody's like, yo, Ponzio! And it's like, you know, you know this guy and that person and everything. And so you're kind of like high-fiving everybody. It was just a really great day to kind of come to a family that had been waiting for you. Okay. And uh, going from Walking Dead to uh, Teen Wolf, they both have pretty huge fan bases. Yes! Um, how would you compare the fan bases between Walking Dead and Teen Wolf? Um, well, they're, they're different fan bases. They, even though we're talking about sci-fi, they're completely different. They're as dedicated as to each show as each show is dedicated to them. Um, I find that on social media, I get a lot more um, um, interaction with the kids that are on uh, Teen Wolf. Um, just the personal highlight for me was is being on a show for such a length of time, right? A lot of working actors, we might get a couple of episodes, maybe a couple of episodes across a couple of seasons, but to be one particular character over a long period of time, um, for me, was a personal highlight. And also to see who I refer to as the kids, they're not kids anymore, they're young adults, um, Tyler Posey, Dylan O'Brien, um, Colton Hayes, uh, you know, uh, Crystal Reed, all of those young adults growing professionally and personally over the last four or five years has just been an amazing experience as an adult on the show, as a mom on the show, and as a mom in real life. Okay. And that's a lot. That's a lot of answer right there. Th that's a good answer, though. We like long answers. Okay. And um, what would you say, uh, if you could be on any show that's going on right now, what would you say is your kind of dream project to be on? I'm happy to be on any show that I keep my clothes on. 
Um, no, but I think it's just for me personally, it's it's being able to be as committed as you can on the on the show that will have you, and and that's what it is to me. So it's 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 all in or all out. Okay. And do you have anything you'd like to promote that you're working on, anything like that? Um, thank you very much. No, just continuing on with Teen Wolf and also with Chicago Fire. And I thank all the fandoms for tuning in. And uh, that's it here from Walker Stalker Con. Exactly what she said. <laughs>